Hello and welcome to Irene's Book Club. Today we'll be reading Captain Pepper's Pets. So let's get started. Chapter 1. Captain Pepper wanted a pet, but he didn't want a parrot. Every pirate I've ever met has had a parrot. He said, parrots talk too much. No, I want a pet that will make me famous all over the world. So, let's go to the pet shop, said Pirate Nong. Oh, Nong, goldfish are best, said Pirate Noodle. Let's buy your hamster, said Pirate Noddy Paul. Daft twits, roared Captain Pepper. A hamster or goldfish won't make me famous. What I want is something different. What Captain Pepper wanted, Captain Pepper got. So off they sailed aboard the snooty fox to search for a pet. That was different. The pirates sailed for many long weeks. At last they reached an island. Aha! cried Captain Pepper. I'll bet my boots up. We'll find my pet here. Full spear head you horrible lot they sailed down a river and into a jungle stop bellowed the captain lower the gangplank and get ashore find me a pet or i'll feed you to the sharks then captain pepper lay down in his hammock for a nap come on pirate sighed Pirate Nong. Let's find this pet and we can go home. But as the pirate stepped onto the gangplank, Naughty Paul slipped and fell into the water. Help! He screamed. I can't swim. Suddenly a huge toothy creature tossed Naughty Paul up in the air. Help! He screamed, I want my mom. Captain Pepper jumped to his feet. Bless my soul, it's a hippopotamus. He shouted, that would make a good pet. Bring it on board. The hippo didn't want to be brought on board. He snorted and stamped and snapped at the pirate, but at last, they hold it up on the deck. Welcome aboard, my hippo pet, said Captain Pepper. With you by my side, I'll soon be famous all over the world. He patted his hippo's head. The hippo snorted and rushed across the ship. Crunch! It bit the mast in two. Rush! The mast fell on the deck. Stop that now! The captain bellowed. Captain Pepper glared at the hippo. The hippo glared at Captain Pepper and charged. Captain Pepper dived out of the way, but the hippo kept going. Right over the side of the ship. Splash! The hippo was troubled said Pirate Nong. Can't we go home and buy a parrot? Captain Pepper snorted and snarled. A parrot? He roared. Not on your Nelly. Find me something different or I'll feed you to the sharks. Chapter 3. The pirate set off into the jungle. The captain should catch his own pet, grumbled Naughty Pole. said Nong. Look by that tree. That's different. A porcupine was scratching for grubs. It's black and white, like our pirate flag, said Nong. That would make a good pet for Captain Pepper, said Naughty Paul. Cat! 
catch it, Noodle, before it runs off. Noodle reached out his hand. Ow! He squealed and leapt in the air. Shiver me timbers. It's covered in sharp things. I'm not picking that up. We'll find something else. So on they went, tiptoeing slowly. Suddenly, something hit Naughty Paul on the head. Ouch! He howled. Who's throwing things? The pirates looked up in the trees. The monkey threw another knot, then it leapt to the ground. That's different, cried Nong. That would make a good pet for Captain Pepper, said Naughty Paul. Catch it, Noodle, before it runs off. Noodle ran after the monkey with Naughty Paul and Nong at his heels. All the way back to Snooey Fox. It's going on board, said Naughty Paul. The pirates chased the monkey up the gangplank and onto the ship. The monkey jumped on the captain's hammock and stole his hat. Captain Pepper woke up from his nap. Stop, he bellowed. Give me back my hat. The monkey climbed up the ropes and swung on the sails. Get off my ship, the captain roared. We, he waved his cutlass in the air. Swish, swash. The monkey screeched and dropped the hat. Then it ran down the gangplank and disappeared back in the jungle. That monkey was trouble, said Pirate Nong. Can we go home and buy a parrot? Captain Pepper snorted and snorted. A parrot? He roared. Not on your nelly. Find me something different or I'll feed you to the sharks. Chapter 4. It was getting dark when the pirates set off into the jungle again. Naughty Paul clung to Noodle and whimpered. Shh, said Nong. Look over there. A Pussy cat with spots. That's different, said Naughty Paul. Catch it, Noodle, before it runs off. Here, Pussy, called Noodle. Come to Noodle, good Pussy. The leopard crept slowly towards him. But the growl in his throat and the glint in his eyes filled Noodle with fear. Shiver me timber, he thinks I'm his dinner, he cried. Noodle turned and ran deeper into the jungle with Naughty Paul and Nong at his heels. The jungle grew darker and even more scary. On they went, tiptoeing slowly, when Naughty Paul tripped over a fallen branch and landed on his bottom with a howl. The branch began to wriggle. Ah! screamed Naughty Paul. That branch is alive! Well, shiver me timbers, said Noodle. That's different. Catch it, Noodle, before it runs off, said Naughty Paul. It can't run, giggled Noodle. It has no legs. He grabbed it by its middle and pulled its head. Heavy, he cried. You'll both have to help. Together, the pirates carried the snake through the jungle back to the snooty fox. Captain Pepper couldn't believe his eyes. A python! You've brought me a python, he cried. He hopped and skipped across the deck. I'm going to be famous, he whooped. The ca then Captain Pepper clapped his hands and began to sing. Oh, a python is a wondrous thing. No arms, no legs has he. And yet he moves with lightning speed to catch and eat his tea. He found you a pet, said Nong. Can we go home now, please? Captain Pepper stopped singing. 
go home, he roared. Not on your Nelly. You're, we're going round the world to show off my python. I'm going to be famous. The pirates grumbled behind his back. We'll be off at daybreak, said Captain. So you better be ready, or I'll feed you to the sharks. Chapter five. Daybreak came. The pirates slept peacefully in their bunks. At midday, Nong woke up and stretched. Something isn't right, he thought. Hey, wake up, Naughty Pull and Noodle! He called. It's late. Why ha hasn't the captain shouted at us? The pirates crept up on the deck and tiptoed towards Captain Pepper's hammock. There were the captain's boots. There was the captain's hat. But there was no sign of Captain Pepper. In his place, fast asleep was a was Captain Pepper's python pet, with a large bulge in its middle. Where's the captain? cried Naughty Paul. The pirates stared at the sleeping snake. I think that's the captain, whispered Nong. Pointing to the bludge in the python's middle, well, shiver me timbers," said Noodle. Then suddenly, Nong began to cheer. "Now there's no one to shout at us!" he cried. "There's no one to feed us to the sharks!" shouted Naughty Paul. "There's no one to stop us going home!" called Noodle. The three pirates jumped for joy. The th three pirates jumped for joy. First, let's send Captain Pepper's pet back where it came from," said Nong. The pirates pulled back the hammock, heave, and let it go. Thwang! The python flew through the air. Wee! And back into the jungle! Hooray! Shouted the pirates, and they danced a merry dance all around the deck. Chapter six. Naughty Paul Noodle and Nong sailed back across the sparkling sea until at last they arrived home. The three pirates sold the snooty fox for a fortune and bought a tea shop instead. On a perch in the tea shop window sat a parrot. To welcome all the visitors. As for Captain Pepper, his wish came true. He soon became famous all over the world. Captain Pepper was the only pirate in history to have been swallowed by his pet. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. Bye.